Witches Reviews. Tonight I want to discuss the Netflix original series Lilyhammer. I had not heard about this series um, until last week. I've, I've newly joined Netflix in the last few weeks so I, um, I'm just getting an idea of what's, what's available. Um, I, it's really good because you can, you can put forward um, your star rating on shows you've seen already or films and then also by things you watch they will recommend other things for you. So I um, decided to give Lily Hammer a look um, mainly because the main character is um, from the, one of the characters from The Sopranos which is my all time favourite TV series so I thought anything related or any of the actors related should be good. So um, the main character is Silvio from and the Sopranos, who was Tony's consig consigliere, um, played by Stephen Van Zant, and he is the main character of this show, Lilyhammer. Um, it's a Norwegian show, and the um, creators and writers are Norwegian, um, but it's got um, links to America. Some of the scenes are set there in New York, and some of the actors. So it's um, multilingual, so sometimes they're talking English, sometimes um, th there's subtitles. So people from Norway or English speaking people can both watch it. Um, I'm just going to break it down a little bit of the background storyline. So it's an ex mobster um, who's the main character, Frank um, Taglia Tagliano, and he um gives up his boss because his life is in danger his life's been threatened so he gives up his boss um for um witness protection so he decides to go to norway and basically the story follows his his um travels to norway and reintegrating um and as a civilian and then obviously issues with culture and lifestyle so he's um, supposed to be an immigrant but his father came from Norwegian descent so his um, name he's given is Giovanni Hendrickson um, but that's not true he's Italian American so it's a really interesting series um, what I liked about it is it's original it's not something you've heard of before mobster you know gets um, put on the witness protection program and is sent to Norway. You know, it's it's interesting. Um, it's a snowy town. You know, very rural, small place, and um, so he has to try and adjust to a, such a different lifestyle. So I like to, that's original. It's also very funny and witty. Um, so it's a comedy at heart. That would that's what I would classify as a comedy. Um, so that's that's another thing that, that was really good about it. Um, it's not a serious, like dirty gr crime um, show. I do love those as well, but it's it's just it's really a comedy. Um, what I disliked about it was at times the stereotyping was a little much. I know it is a satire, so there's a lot of stereotyping of various groups, including Norwegians, mainly the Norwegians themselves. Um, but uh, the Arabs, I found that their portrayal wasn't wasn't great. I think they may have pushed it a little bit far towards the negative side. I just think that's problematic, you know, especially it's kind of a sensitive area. I just don't know, wasn't wasn't overly impressed with that. Um, also a bit sexist, you know, the women are just either the women characters are sex objects or kind of annoying, nagging mother figures. Um, especially like Frank's girlfriend is, um, you know, she's quite two-dimensional. There's not a lot of depth to her. She's a sweet woman, but she just seems to kind of, you know, be in the background annoying and wanting this and that from him and, you know, just annoys him. So, you know, that wasn't great either. But overall, like, I, I really enjoyed it. And he, he kind of turns into a bit of a vigilante for the town, you know, standing up for those with no voice and um, any character that's not very likeable, he kind of fixes and sorts out, but he doesn't change his mob mentality, he still uses that kind of brute force and threatening and um, threatening violence to get his way, so it's kind of interesting that they didn't do a 
180 on him and changed his personality. He kind of he's the exact same as just in Norway, um, with a little bit of adopting here and there, and um, sets up the nightclub. So, yeah, it's 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 an interesting show. It's um, funny, you know. There's only eight episodes, so it's it uh, didn't take me too long to get through. Just a couple of days, few days, um, and it's also interesting just because of the, t the the different cultures that's what's that's what's kind of good about it and it does focus a lot on multiculturalism and immigration and it, that's that's an issue and uh, an area and um, that always can be worked on and people can be become a little bit more aware of so i think that was nice that they kind of lightheartedly um brought those issues in but maybe too lightheartedly in some points um but it's quirky, it's different, and he I love Stephen Van Zandt, he's great. Um and yeah, so it's a good show. Um worth giving a look. And I think it's gonna be commissioned for second season, so I'm not sure when that's out, but hopefully it'll also it'll be good and it'll continue on from where he left off. Um and yeah, um don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments on the program, if you liked it or disliked it, just leave comments below and or if you have any other series that you think is worth giving a look, um let me know because I'm always looking for new shows to review. Thanks a million. Bye.